but we've got nearly 4,000 sales from using 850. That's like a 4x ROAS. Hey guys, what's up? I wasn't expecting to reveal this. I'm going to be showing guys and taking guys through the whole process of scaling Google Shopping internationally. This is something that I would probably save for a course, but I want to do it different and just give you guys everything completely for free. So I'll be showing you guys how to scale worldwide with Google Shopping because what people don't know is that even though when you set up your Google Shopping campaign and you select every country, the feed is usually going to be just US based. To scale it worldwide, you have to create separate different country feeds with different currencies and that's what we'll be going over today and I'll be taking you guys step by step through the process as I install this on musicchess.com. Now, before we get started, I want to announce last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses or consulting calls. The winner is here. If you guys want to qualify to win $1,000 worth of courses, drop a comment below. I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Be sure to leave your Instagram and be following me so I could go ahead and send you the rewards. It's as simple as that. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So we're going to use an app called Data Feed Watch. And I'm going to start with the trial with the shop. We're going to start trial and this is the app that's going to help us create many many different feeds for different countries all right so i just put in my card now i'm going to fill out these details music chest great shop perfect let's install it i'm shop owner okay now it's logging in install the app Awesome, now it's downloading all my feed. So let's refresh on Shopify then. Yep, congratulations, you selected creating your data feed watch account. Okay, now that the feed is ready, I'm gonna click start. Usually if you have a lot of products, it will just take a while, but since we only have like under 20 music chests, um, it was pretty fast. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just check all the different um, options. So description will link to my Shopify body underscore HTML. So let's see if it looks good. Oh, okay. We don't want this to be the description. Outcome value does not look nice. So for the description, we want to just match it to the description. So let's try this global description tag. Okay, so this is just SEO. I think I'm going to stick with the body, the body HTML. I'm pretty sure it will convert. So even though it says it shows this confusing string, I'm pretty sure when you go ahead and upload to your feed, it will convert to like normal description. So let me refresh, reload, leave all my changes, save and proceed. So you basically just want to leave it at settings, but I wanted to take you guys through the whole process and check each one just in case your store is set up differently. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a channel. Let's select say Australia, and I'm going to put in Google Shopping Australia, add channel, your website, I'm going to paste in the music chest, add channel, Okay, the settings have been saved. Exclude products. Let's exclude if I'm going to do price is equal to zero because um, Google doesn't like any free products. So I think I have one or two products that are just zero dollars. So I'm going to remove that. Let's try music. Yep, that. Save and proceed. And yeah, now the Australian music chest feed is finished. Now I'm going to go ahead and add two more channels one for Canada and one for UK. Okay, that's Canada done. Now we're gonna do UK. Okay, so now when you're on channels, you can now see all your feeds in the different countries. Now what you wanna do is you wanna copy the feed URL and upload it to your Google Merchant Center. So here's Google Merchant Center. You just Google Google Merchant Center, you sign in. Okay, now I'm logging in. This is the Google Merchant Center for Music Chess. As you can see, we've got 16 products. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload our feed. Go to data watch feed, copy the Australia feed, copy, go back here, add a feed. First I want to check, yep, we have 16 products, which is correct. Country of sale, this would be Australia, English, continue. Then we're going to do scheduled fetch, continue. Primary feed and music, chess, AU, continue. And now the Australian feed has been uploaded. Now I'm going to repeat the process for Canada and UK. Man, I remember when I first did this, there was so much troubleshooting, so much talking to customer service, and you guys just get this very simple free guide straight on YouTube, and you can just follow it step by step. When I first did this, it was so annoying. I had no idea how to do it. You know, no one was doing it at the time, but that's exactly why I want to give it to you guys, because I know how painful it was for me, so I don't want you guys to go through the same thing. Hence, I want to provide you guys 
with this completely free tutorial to save you guys that stress. And I want to provide a lot of value so I could outgrow every other YouTuber in my space. And yeah, now I uploaded all the feeds. We've got the Australian UK. Now you can go to home. There's one more step that I forgot to show you. Click on each one, click on Australia, and you have to click fetch now. But first you want to go to settings, feed setting, encoding, yep, daily, default currency, do US dollars, save. All right, so yep, we're going to set the default currency to US dollar, go to processing, and you click fetch now. I'm going to go back, do the same thing for UK, default currency, I'm going to set that to USD. Now I'm going to go to Canada. Now all the feeds have now should have been uploaded. Canada is still fetching. But let's get to diagnostic. And yeah, it's going to do its thing. And I'll come back to you guys after, you know, a few hours. It should update and it should go from not being uploaded to pending. And from pending to uploaded. And I'll show you guys how to then bring it into Google AdWords. I'm going to bring you guys from A to Z and not leave anything out. So I'll see you guys soon. So there has been an error because I used my Shopify link. So since my, what you want to do is you want to make sure your Google Merchant Center, if you go to business information, the URL there matches the URL on your channel setting. So I changed it back to www.musicchest.com. Update channel, that's already updated. So I'm going to do the same thing for Canada. I'm going to re-upload my feeds. And yeah, I'm going to repeat this with the other two countries. All right, that's all uploaded. And I don't know why it still has the same issue, but I'm gonna try to troubleshoot this. All right, guys, good news. A lot of the troubleshooting is now over. As you can see, I'm gonna show you the Merchant Center. Ignore the 15 disapproved items. That is due to a duplicate feed, but the Canada, the UK, and Australia feed are all approved. Plus, the Australia and Canada feeds are now approved, and the UK feeds are now pending. So after we get this done, I'm going to be targeting the top four countries. After that, if it does well, I'm going to go upgrade my data watch feed and get another, say, 15 countries available. The initial starter pack only gives you three channels for three countries. So what I'm going to do is, if this does well, I'm going to scale it out worldwide. And I'm just going to have music chess in every single country. So now I'm going to take you guys through how to run the ads. I'm literally taking you guys through everything. So let's close the Merchant Center for now. So this is the original US campaign. As you can see, we spent 847 Australian dollars. And obviously this number is off and this is probably 10 to 20% less than the actual amount of sales I've gotten. But we've got nearly 4,000 sales from using 850. That's like a 4X ROAS. As you can see, we're getting cost per conversions of $8.65 Australian dollars. That's like $5 USD, which is unheard of. And the CPMs are insanely cheap. That's why Google Shopping shouldn't be underestimated. But let's go ahead and create a new campaign. Sales, shopping. Now this is where we do it. I'm gonna select Music Chess. I'm gonna select Australia first and do standard shopping campaign 017 music chess shopping open the second tab so copy it i want to get the same naming convention changes to au i will do yep manual cpc for now i'm going to keep this checked budget i'm going to put in 50 dollars a day campaign priority low for now i'm going to uncheck network targeting now I'm going to target Australia, which is the location. Save and continue. Bid. I'm going to start at a dollar bid to get the ball rolling. Save. Now that campaign is now added. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process for Canada and UK. And yeah. That was the whole process. That's taking you from A to Z, how to scale internationally. Remember, just going to Music Chess, US feed, going to your locations and adding in all those other countries isn't gonna work. Look, I have all these countries available and the impressions are little to nothing basically. And the reason is because you need to create a new feed where the currency is in that country's local currency. So it'll be in Australian dollars, UK pounds or Canadian dollars. And the feed has to basically be separate. You can't have a US feed targeting worldwide. You need an individual US feed, you need an individual Canadian feed, Australian and UK feed. And that's why you need to go through the whole data watch feed and this whole long annoying process. But it is totally worth it because 
there's not much competition in Google Shopping in other countries. I'm going to tell you that. But yeah, hope you guys found value in this video. Hopefully you were able to basically follow everything from A to C. I gave away literally everything. If you guys are finding value, drop a comment below. Remember, I'm giving a thousand dollars worth of courses, consulting course to one person every single video. And all you have to do to qualify is drop a comment, drop a like, tag your Instagram, make sure you follow me, and then I'll go ahead and message the winners. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe because I'm dropping value bobs every single day. I'm not going to upsell you anything. Hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace.